that's a very, very interesting thing. Because you know, I'm like a doctor. Sit down, Phoebe, that's cool. Thank you. I'm like a doctor, which means if a patient shows up at my office and I give him any medication, not knowing what he has or she has, what am I? Well, I guess I'm a doctor. <laughs> Instead of that, I'd like to be uh, really useful to my patient. So first of all, I'd like to know what's wrong. You know, because many things can be wrong. And, and that's a problem of your training very, usually it's taught in a way that's very standard. But nothing is standard about music and none of you guys have the same problems. None of you have the same problems. None of us have the same problem. For example, Phoebe's problem is she has a great ear, but it doesn't translate to the instrument. For some of you guys, it's totally the reverse. I've seen people who, for whom it takes 10 minutes to sing the phrase, and once they sing it, then they have no problem playing it. Right? I have seen some who have the reverse, like Phoebe. They hear the phrase. She was always singing pretty much perfectly what I was playing, you know? Even the last one, which was not obvious, you sang it very clearly, and then you don't know where it is. So basically what your problem is, is that you cannot really play instantly what you sing, but you can hear it. In some other cases, some of you guys will realize that you cannot hear it because you cannot sing it. So you have two steps in, pro in the problem. Can I hear it, and then can I play it? You know. And then there is another problem that we well, I'm not going to talk about today because it's a totally different thing is, can I hear something? You know, because right now you're imitating what somebody else plays, but can you go in the street, take a walk and hear music? You know, that's what I do all the time. I go in the street, I walk and I hear music. Most of it bad, but sometimes it's good. And I'm like, oh, that's an idea. And I come back home and write it or I have a recorder with me at all times. And that's how I come with ideas, you know? So, can you hear anything, you know, by yourself in the street with no instrument, not here in a classroom with teachers and the whole environment, just by yourself in the middle of the woods, can you hear music inside of you that makes sense? Can you sing it once you hear it? And can you play it once you sing it? Do so you see it's all different steps. So in your case, Phoebe, the good news is the last step. So that's something you have to practice. Sing, play, sing and play, sing and play, intervals, melodies, copying recordings and stuff like that. And the fact that you have a good ear is going to make it much easier than for somebody who has to already solve that ear problem because you hear the thing. It's a problem between here and there. But it's when, when it's a problem between here and there, it's much more, not complicated, but it takes more time and more work. Uh, and that's an imitation exercise that I recommend you guys do. You just hang, you know, by teams of two, three, and four, and you do it. And you, you know, you change, you know, you change instruments, and you do that. Of course, you can do that very easily with your recordings. You know, you go home and you imitate your recordings. But doing it in a team like that is nice because if you fail, the, music, the other guy can do it again, like I did. And you know, it's a teamwork, and it's going to help many of you acquire that. Okay, I hear, I sing, I play, and when it's going to become instant, then you're going to realize that finally you know what improvisation feels like. And there are many, many of you that are going to realize that so far they've been doing mechanical stuff, not musical stuff, and that's a very different thing.